What is this? Whack-a-pack balloons? Make sure you watch the whole video and we'll try some of these out. Oh! <laughs> All right, guys, my wife has a doctor's appointment right now, so we are gonna go in this Dollar Tree and see what kind of awesome Christmasness they have. Well, looky here, I actually have almost the same sign. It's probably totally different and I'm remembering wrong, but on my front porch. All right, let's go on into the Dollar Tree here and see what kind of awesome Christmas goodness we can find. Look at this, right inside the door. Wait a minute. Four foot Christmas trees for five bucks. Holy crap, that may be the very best thing in the entire store right here. If you don't want to spend a ton of money on a tree, five dollars at the Dollar Tree. And look at this, we have ginormous candy cane decorations. What the heck, these are like four feet tall. Those are pretty cool. Okay, here's a couple more of these signs right here. Welcome to our home. Fa la la, I like that one. I'm not into like the gnomes but I do like that sign, and this one's welcome. There's a different welcome, it's still Christmas colors, and there's the plaid welcome right there. Is this a different one here? Uh, nope, that's the same as this one over here. They always have lots of awesome wrapping paper in here, like characters from movies and stuff. What is this? That's not a character. Here's Paw Patrol here. Let's see, I see some Disney things back here. That is Encanto or Encanto, I don't know how you say it, LOL. Here we got Batman, we have Spider-Man here. There's some more Batman, that's cool, that reminds me of Mr. Freeze. We got the Minions here. What's this one? Uh, Super Mario, lots of different kinds of wrapping paper in there. Look at this, we got these solar bulbs here. Are they solar? Yes. Ah, oh, these are cool solar bulbs that you hang outside and you don't even have to plug them in or use batteries or anything they're powered by the sunlight people were buying these things up for their 12 foot skeletons so that they could hang a string of lights in the skeleton's hand because they're really not all that heavy and those hands are not made to hold anything and look at this back here we have other solar lights a elf we have snowmen i see a tree back there, a reindeer, we got Santa. Of course, there's Christmas plates and glasses and bowls and mugs and what do you call these things? Oven mitts, drying mats, all kinds of stuff for the kitchen. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. We have knee-high socks with Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Other, what's that say? I believe in Santa Paws. Okay, <laughs> we got a couple of different kinds of scarves here. I like that plaid one. Look at this, we have the doorknob bells. These are cool, you hang them over your doorknob and then when somebody opens the door, it rings. Window clings, we got felt garlands here with Santa's face. Bells, more socks down here. Ooh, these are these warm socks. I can't wear these. Look at this. They're called Snugadoo. Gift boxes here, little ones. And then, holy crap, I thought this was the shape of a coffin. That would be very strange, Santa in a coffin. All kinds of garlands here, shiny garlands. We got all kinds of bows over here, just about any kind you could want. These are pretty cool right here. I love this design, the Merry Christmas, and it's still kind of sparkly. And I like these too. These are sparkly and they look like Santa's belt. Look at this, they even have chair pads here. Collapsible Christmas storage containers. They're like fabric boxes that collapse so that you can store them easily. All kinds of gift tags here. There is absolutely no reason to go spend a ton of money on gift tags anywhere. Look at this, they even have giant gift bags. All kinds of gift tags here. These are cool. I really like this kind right here. Giant gift sack. It says no peeking until Christmas. More Christmas gift bags here. Oh my gosh, they have a ton of them. 
Look at this. You could spend four or five dollars a piece on these bags in other stores, and here they're a buck twenty-five. And these look really good too. They don't just look like generic bags. Look at this one with the pupster. That's hilarious. And I like this one right here. Reindeer sleigh rides, twenty-five cents. Winter fun. Let it snow. All of those are awesome. They even have the gift tissue paper down here. We have some ribbon down here and boxes, scotch tape. Once again, there's no reason to spend a ton of money anywhere else for scotch tape. Buck 25, my friends. Oh, look at this. We got Christmas storybooks and coloring books. Look at this. Fa la 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 llama. <laughs> and then we got the sticker book here. Whoops. Sticker books with my gnomies that I just knocked over. Hold on. There we go. Sticking with my nomies. That's what it actually says. Look at this. We have more coloring books down here. Now, this is what I like. I like these gigantic coloring books. I should literally buy one of these and lay down on the floor with this and a box of crayons and color all day long. Lots of sparkly Christmas decorations over here. We got the Merry Christmas signs here. We have the felt snowflakes. These are really cool. You could hang these from your ceiling all throughout your house. Look, they even have blue ones and light blue. Here's a little wreath if you don't want to spend 20, 30 bucks on one at another store. $1.25. I've always thought it was cool to decorate a tree with these bells. Plus, they remind me of the Polar Express. I want to watch the Polar Express tonight. I haven't watched it yet this season. I know the season just began, but I love the Polar Express. Holy crap, look at this. We have turtle doves, just like Home Alone 2. And if you want to be like Home Alone 1, you could get this Santa and the wreath and stick it right in there on your door. I gotta say, they have some really cool looking stuff in here this year. Like, usually it kind of looks a little generic, but look at this. All these hanging things that you just hang around on your walls for decorations. These look really awesome this year. I like this sparkly one, Happy Holidays, with the sparkly Santa on there. I'll be gnome for Christmas. There's snow place like home. And you gotta love the red truck, the old 1950s truck with Santa and the snowman and the tree and presents. One day I'm gonna buy a truck like that. Holy crap, look at this. They even have the little trucks as ornaments. This whole section right here is perfect if you bought the $5 tree because it's just a small tree and everything in this section right here would fit perfectly. Look at this, $1.25 for mini present decorations, ornaments. Here's like little disco ball looking uh, ornaments, mini bows, you got mini name tag looking things here. And look at this, even stars for the top of your tree. There's even bells down here and garlands. Oh my gosh, this is like the mini tree paradise right here. Hello, sir, peeking out at me. Here's star tree toppers for a bigger tree, or this would even work on the small $5 tree. And they got tons of other ornaments over here. If you like the bigger ones for your smaller tree, or if you have a bigger tree, these would work perfect. Look at this, there's little campers there and snowmen. Here's a gnome with a candy cane. Happy holidays. What is this? Oh, these are like little Santa sleighs here. I like these. Noel. And this one says Hope. These are really cool. I love that buffalo plaid, the red and black. Oh, look, we even have owl friends. Ooh, here's a white owl friend, too. Lots of tubes of little ornaments here. More garlands in different colors over here. Lots of other sparkly ornaments here. Here's the stuff where you can make your own ornaments. Now, these are really cool. Okay, first let me start with these. These are do-it-yourself snow globes. Now, I have not done one of these yet myself, but when I was just in Florida, I bought a couple of these so that I could bring home some shells and sand, and they worked perfectly. But yeah, these are all clear ornaments here, and you can get these and make your own ornaments. Now, only that tiny part on the top comes off, but you can fill these with, like, fake snow or, you know, what... Uh, Easter grass looking stuff or something like that. Put anything you want in there and make your own ornaments. And this one makes it even easier because the whole bottom comes off so you can put bigger stuff in these. All right, let's come back over here. Look at this. We have all these stockings here. A good selection of stockings. So once again, you don't have to spend a ton of money even at Walmart. Like, look at this one. Look how cool 
This one is buffalo plaid and it has some fur on the top. We have ones that have initials on them. There's a Spider-Man. Oh, it's a mouse friend. Look at this, there's Paw Patrol, Avengers, Mickey Mouse, matching Christmas hats down here on the end. Oh my gosh, look at this stuff, guys. We have headbands down here. It's like an elf hat with elf ears. We have Santa, we have snowmen there, and these like bobble on your head. Here's Christmas trees. And is that reindeer? Yeah, reindeer. I kind of thought that was a turkey, but it's reindeer. <laughs> and then we have glasses. Look at that. These are cool. I love these. Look, somehow I missed this. It's a mini white Christmas tree. It's like a desktop Christmas tree. That's pretty cool. They have green ones down here too. And look at this. All kinds more of little... Uh, decorations for your tree and i noticed we have a whole bunch of elves over here this is like your own personal cheap elf on a shelf all kinds of ribbon and crafty stuff here this is exactly what i was just talking about right here the fake snow you use this and put that in the in the diy ornaments those clear ones i was talking about look it even says ornament filler there because this is what you use to make your own ornaments and this is like different kinds of glitter here. Here's bells. Look at this fake snowballs. You could have a fake snowball fight indoors. Here's the little bigger ones here. Here's a whole army of little nutcrackers. All kinds of gift boxes on this end in different shapes and sizes. Look, we even have tins if you wanted to give people like cookies or candy. Oh, and this aisle here has all the Christmas candies. We're gonna come back to this side in a second because there's still more stuff over here. Look at this. They have these awesome Christmas Santa buckets. That's cool. The very the first thing that comes to mind is that you could set out like six or seven of these and have like a game where you throw snowballs into them. And if you get the snowballs in the bucket, you win a prize. What? In the world they even have a Christmas skirt look at this here's gift boxes shaped like little houses that's pretty cool this one has dogs on it here's a smaller one like a gingerbread house more of these headbands here and glasses look this one has Christmas trees there's the Santa one here's reindeer here oh my gosh look at the ones on the top here flashing glasses and they're like Christmas bulbs oh look it's a little tin that you could put cookies on or something and it has our plaid truck on it. Christmas tote bags. You could take these with you wherever you're going to visit for Christmas so that you have something to carry your gifts home in. Christmas bulb light up necklaces. All kinds of little plastic containers and stuff along the bottom here for if you needed to put you know, leftovers or cookies or anything like that in them. Oh, these are cool. Chair covers. It's like Santa's hat and you put it on the back of the chair. I've seen something like this for weddings, but this is for Christmas. Look at this. They even have a light up Rudolph nose. Although for some reason, look at it. It's, it blinks. I almost said it sparkles. For some reason, they don't have Rudolph on there, though. They have Santa. Bell bracelets. What is this? Whack-a-pack balloons. You punch the pack, and it becomes a balloon. What the heck? I've never seen anything like that. I think I'm going to have to buy some of these just to try them out. Make sure you watch the whole video, and we'll try some of these out. Look at this. They even have Christmas pencils and erasers. These are really cool. Look, they're shaped like trees and snowmen and reindeer. Christmas paddle ball games. That's hilarious. Cookie bags. Oh my gosh, all kinds of treat bags and things like that. I love all the different containers they have. Look, these are like little buckets. All right, let's turn around here and look at all these awesome Christmas goodies here. All right, look at this. We have 4D gummy blocks. We got Rudolph candy, Sour Patch Kids dressed up like Santa, Warheads Sour Holiday Mix, Blue Raspberry Cubes. I guess there's a snowman on there that makes it kind of Christmassy. Mmm, Junior Mints Peppermint Crunch. That's what I'm talking about. Chocolate Crunch Santa Claus and Frosty the Snowman. What the heck is this? It's a Santa Lip Pop. You put it in your mouth and it looks like you have a Santa beard, but it's actually candy. 
on the other side. They have Santa and they have Rudolph. That one's hilarious. Chocolate Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Candy Pals from the North Pole. Candy canes of all shapes and sizes. Look at this. They have small ones here. Then they have giant ones here. Holy crap, they even have a Kool-Aid candy cane. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Wait, what? Candy cane spoons? What the heck is that? I can't get it out of there and I don't want to break them. Here's some stirring spoons. Chocolate, oh my gosh. Holy crap. Chocolate stirring spoons you use to stir your hot chocolate. Or you could even use these in coffee and the chocolate melts and makes it delicious. Okay, here I got some out. Candy cane spoons peppermint flavored and once again you use these to stir like your hot chocolate and they melt and it gives it more of a peppermint flavor oh my gosh that's the best idea ever invented hot cocoa balls i think you basically heat up like your milk and then you drop this in and it dissolves and makes it chocolate and there's even marshmallows inside the hot cocoa ball kool-aid snow day popping candy that looks delicious christmas dots i've never really been a fan of those but look at this the black ones are called lumps of coal those are disgusting frosty the snowman gummies here candy canes full of chocolate candy and warheads fluffy stuff snowballs cotton candy look at this here's another kind of hot chocolate bomb it's shaped like santa double bubble gumball they must all be red and green Christmas blow pop minis look at this they even have these little Lindor milk chocolate candies oh my gosh these are close to being the most delicious chocolate I've ever had in my life what is this sour punch twists we got smarties here extreme sour warheads oh million dollar bar chocolate covered cherries you gotta love chocolate covered cherries peppermint sticks for old saint nick peanut brittle peanut brittle's pretty good except for i have a lot of teeth that i had pulled so i can get implants so i can't eat them right now <laughs> whoa look at this mini peppermint sipper it's like a shot glass made of peppermint what the heck bags of coal double crisp coal it must be chocolate oh these are delicious andy's cherry jubilee thins christmas marshmallows more christmas oh wait yeah it is it's marshmallow candy marshmallow candy santas and then here's little boxes of candy that are like an assorted mix of milk and dark chocolate drizzled popcorn oh my gosh that looks good and i think we've pretty much covered everything except for just some small things like bags of candy down here there's some tootsie rolls here york peppermint patties reese cups down here wait what the heck twinkies flavored candy canes how could you get better than that all right guys there's a few other things in here like these wreaths back here and things like that of course they have awesome christmas cards in here but i think we're pretty much finished for this store so stick around we're going to do some of these whack-a-pack balloons in just a minute here okay we are home and we're gonna try out these wacky pack whack-a-pack balloons here apparently you just lay it down and punch it and it becomes a balloon. So these actually come with some strings here that if you want to, you can give them as gifts and hang them on a tree. It says to and from, and I guess you just poke a hole in there and then tie the string onto it. Okay, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna punch them. Okay, this will be interesting. Here we go. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so this thing just scared the crap out of me. I thought that was it. I punched it, and it started inflating, and I'm like, well, how do you get it out of the package here? And then it exploded in my face when I was not recording, and here's what it becomes. A little balloon right here. So let's do this again. So here's the candy cane one. You punch it. It starts to inflate inside the bag, and watch this. Just hold on. Hold on, here we go. Hold on, it's coming. Hold on. What the heck, man? Come on. You can see it's slowly inflating here. But, all right, this thing's playing games. Come on. What the heck, man? 
You can see it's getting bigger and bigger and it's starting to pull at the seam there. Is it gonna explode or what? <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. Now the string makes more sense because there is a little hole at the top of the balloon here. And that really blew... I mean, that's tight, man. That's like a little ornament right there. You put the string through there and hang it on your tree after it blows up in your face. <laughs> <laughs>